This is sugar kelp, and I'm gonna show you how to make chips with it. But not with this one, because this one stole someone's home. That's rude. Be free. The tide's coming in, he'll be fine, he'll be fine. I'm home with sugar kelp. She's a ruffly queen with these like train track indentations going down her midrib too. And she smells a little sweet. If she's stinky, leave her on the beach. And if you're harvesting directly from the little hold fast at the bottom, make sure to leave a lot left so it can keep growing next year. Now it's chip time. Give her a nice little clean and some fresh cool water. Because you don't want gritty chips. The worst thing in the world is biting into something and finding sand with your mouth bones. Cut off pieces of the front and put them into your dehydrator or your oven on the lowest setting. Like lowest setting with the door cracked open. In your palm. Here's some pieces I put in an hour ago. The magic of planning. You heat up some veggie oil, take a piece of your dried frond and watch the magic. And these bubbly beans are what you get. I like to sprinkle on one part sugar, one part salt. Moment of truth. Y'all, that crunch. It's a popular snack in parts of Korea and now I know why. Be cognizant of the kelp harvesting rules in your area and go get yourself a snack.